all across America and around the world. This is Veterans Radio. This is Veterans Radio. Welcome to Veterans Radio. I am Jim Fossone. I'm the officer of the deck today. We've got some great programs for you. I think you'll find very interesting. We always want to remind you, you can find more about Veterans Radio at its Facebook site or at the web. VeteransRadio.org is our new URL, VeteransRadio.org. Where we're on the web 24-7, you can find a lot of our podcasts there as well. We post new ones every Tuesday, so you can get a new story, a new interview, something you didn't know before by going to veteransradio.org. And before we get started, we want to thank our sponsors. First up, we want to thank National Veteran Business Development Council, nvbdc.org. It was established to certify both service-disabled and veteran-owned businesses. You'll find out how they can help your business by going to nvbdc.org. We want to thank Legal Help for Veterans. Legal Help for Veterans fights for veterans' disability rights all across the nation. You can reach them at 800-693-4800 or on the web at LegalHelpForVeterans.com. We want to welcome to Veterans Radio today business owner, visionary Scott Lopez. He is the driving force behind Zepo Production Inc., better known as ZPI. We have him on today because uh, we have a relationship with National Veteran Business Development Council, NVBDC.org, as it's better known, uh, to spotlight companies involved with NVBDC, uh, which is the nation's leading third-party authority for certification of veteran-owned businesses, really of all sizes. This 501c3 nonprofit was established back in 2013, and it addresses the growing need to identify and certify both service-disabled and veteran-owned businesses for the commercial and government marketplace. NVBDC has a rigorous certification process designed to withstand the scrutiny of governmental and corporate entities in seeking to uh, use veteran-owned businesses. So Scott Lopez and ZPI are NVBDC certified. Scott, why don't we start with this? Uh, Tell us why a nice kid from Texas uh, went from high school to the U.S. Army uh, to driving around uh, M1 (laughs) A1 battle tanks. (laughs) Yeah, actually, I grew up in Southern California. I live in Austin now, but I I grew up in Southern California, and I think like most uh, combat arms soldiers or anybody in the military, um, I don't know. College wasn't for me, right? So uh, it wasn't wasn't great in high school. wasn't uh, wasn't my favorite thing. So um, wanted to, wanted to, also wanted to say thanks to the country. You know, I, I remember being in basic training, and every day the, the drill sergeant get in front of you, and you know, what are you here for? And some of the guys were 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 court ordered to be there, and some were there for just the or some were there for just the uh, GI Bill, and and the drill sergeant got in front of me and goes, what are you here for? I was only 17 years old in basic training. He goes, why did you join the Army? I said, just, just to say thanks. He said, God, that's the best answer I've ever heard. Get get up here. You're our platoon leader. So <laughs> I don't know. I've always just been very patriotic. Um, you know, that's 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 one reason. But didn't have a whole lot of options, I guess. But um, it worked out really well for me. Well, I, as we're going to hear later, as you figure life after service was great has been great and uh, you're in a great position now and you get to not only thank the country but also recognize your hispanic heritage and we'll talk a little bit about that but tell us what zpi does so zpi actually zeppel production zinc and zeppel is just lopez backwards right if uh you know I, I, everyone always asked what zeppel and, and i grew up my best friend growing up his name was scott so he was long i was lopez so since I was really young, I always been called Lopez. And then, you know, when you join the army, no one uses the first name. So everyone just always called me Lopez. So I went with, with Lopez backward to Zeppel. So Zeppel Productions, Inc., we actually produce private labels and exclusive brands of um, services or hardware for distribution partners or reseller partners in the IT space. So um, Ingram Micro, Tech Data, Stenex, DNH. These are all big, gigantic computer distributors that don't have smaller groups within them. We offer a opportunity for them to offer 
other than alternative to OEM ser service and support to their customers and have a little bit of arm's distance from the from their OEM partners, like let's say Cisco and Dell and HP, these big guys, right? We offer a third party support to be able to support those that hardware further on down the road, right? Legacy gear. So we call it extension of life for again support supporting of legacy equipment. And and when you go to the website, which is ZPIA om.com you'll learn more about zeppo productions or zpi um, and it, this whole uh it space is interesting and in, and in how you get help the maybe the smaller uh businesses not the not the biggest businesses in the world get that it support that we all need nowadays it's imperative and we need the latest and greatest at the best cost possible um why was it important after you started the business, you've been at this a while, uh, mm -hmm. to become a veteran-owned certified company? Yeah, so it's funny. So I worked, luckily when I got out of the Army, I was 26 um, when I went to work for a company called Ingram Micro. Ingram Micro is the world's largest IT distributor. Or they were at one point, I think another couple of guys have merged. But anyway, still a $50 billion global gigantic company. And I got, got to go work for them. and. Um, they support, they're kind of a, the, the biggest unknown company out there, right? They support every reseller in the world. So a reseller would be companies that you may be familiar with, like CDW or SHI or Insight on the, on the IT, pure IT play. But even guys like, like Best Buy and, and Staples and um, any of those retail guys as well, right? They're actually shipping only IT products for the reseller that we know and we partner with. So um, working with, with distribution, I wanted to break out and start my own company, have my own brand offering alternative to OEM product, right? Just ways to save money. So um, a lot of things are private labeled these days, and I'm able to source product from the exact same contract manufacturer as the big names that we mentioned before um, with my name on it at a huge discount, hardware and support, right? So because we do that, we offer that through a sales channel. I thought it'd be important for me to be able to let my other partners utilize my certifications as well, right? So we're minority owned, veteran owned, SBA 8A certified on the Texas DIR contract, but I don't sell to end users. So those certifications really didn't help me out very much. But bigger partners, and again, like CDW or Insight, these big resellers that have been around for 40 years, they don't have any diversity status and their enterprise customers are asking for um, diversity spend. Well, how can they do that if they're not? They need to partner with guys like me. So when they partner with me, now their end user gets to retire tier two spend and, um, and the reseller gets to retire tier one spend. And some of these partners like Dell and CDW are actually part of the billion dollar round table who take supplier diversity very seriously. And, um, you know, we, um, we built a really cool solution and some really cool software around letting partners use my software and, and I do lifecycle management for them and um, and they get to share diversity spend with me, even if they're not diverse partners. And and uh, NVBDC.org is sort of the leading certification entity uh, nationwide for veterans. It's a rigorous certification, you really have to prove yourself up. And you've done that. And in fact, you're actually on their board of advisors. I guess they're so impressed with you and you're so impressed with them. Mm -hmm. Tell us what does impress you about NVBDC. Well, like you said, you know, their they're, they're certification process. There's a few other companies out there, um, not NGOs, they call them non-governmental organizations that offer certifications for, for every, other than just veteran as well, right? Could be minority, right? But there's only several that are recognized by the billion dollar round table and the billion dollar round table is is where the fortune 500 companies are all members of the bdr and that's the the certifications they accept are nvbdc for veteran we bank for women and nmsdc even though there's other ones out there these are the three and the reason the bdr chose them is because of that stringent um process to get certified right one of, the th uh, one of the things that we've seen with NVBDC is its ability to, uh, I think I always use the network and I get corrected, it's really not networking, but sort of networking between the veteran businesses 
and and guys on the NB uh, uh, the billion dollar roundtable of of putting putting folks together. It's a, it's more of a matchmaker than than maybe networking. But uh, have you experienced uh, that sort of value from N- NVBDC? Yeah, I was actually just in Louisville um, for their annual for their annual show, and and absolutely right. You've got the biggest names out there, Dell and and gigantic logos are there, and and the people from their supplier diversity groups are there, and and they're speaking at the event and, and talking to um, veterans and explaining to them how do you do business with companies our size. You realize that most most veteran-owned businesses are small businesses, right? We're all small businesses. So how do you go, how do you work with Apple? It's pretty hard to get into Apple, right? But if you got that MVBC logo in there, it opens the door for you at least, right? It gives you the conversations and, you know, they can help you navigate a little bit easier than having doing it on your own, right? It's not very easy to open those doors these days. So do you get asked by other veteran-owned businesses, hey, is it worth going through this process? And if so, what would you tell them? You know, like you said, I'm on the board of advisors, and I, like like I just said, it's not easy to to open doors at companies like Dell and 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 Apple and Disney and these gigantic companies, right? So you need to have every everything you can possibly do to get your foot in the door. And because these these gigantic logos are members of the BDR, and it, it, it incents them. They have these goals that they put on on themselves, by the way. Right? They're not like the government where they've got these government mandated goals for supplier diversity. These are things that they put on themselves. So it only makes sense for them to to back their investment, if you will. Right. So, you know, I let everybody know that, yeah, if you're if you're a veteran owned company, join the MBDC. You, you'll work the system and you'll get business out of it. So we're talking to uh, Scott Lopez, who is the uh, owner visionary of ZPI. Talk to us a little more about sort of uh, ZPI's vision for that. Uh, I said earlier, you're, you're proud of your Hispanic heritage and try to work in that space to help other entities. Talk to us a little bit about how you get to do that. Uh, working with other other companies? Yes. Well, you know, we're, we're being part of the community. We, we we attend a lot of events and we try to network there and help each other out as much as we can there. I'm really more focused on the veteran community. Um, I'm I'm also a member of um, founding founding chapter member of the USA Cares chapter here in Austin. Um, I'm actually trying to create my own or start our own nonprofit called On the Way, which helps guys just like me. Right, a lot of people that join the military um, that get further along our, our lifers, right? They did 20 years they, and they're and they're usually officers that are that are that are entrepreneurs or guys that have been there for longer. And um there's not a lot of guys like me that, you know, only did four years active or three years active, seven reserve, and you know, was a short term guy um that that have actually started its own business. So we're we're creating a nonprofit called On the Way um to help guys just like me, right? My our whole point is if I can do it, you can do it. Let me show you how. Right. So um, as far as working with um, other veteran and minority-owned companies, we we attend a lot of the shows um, that you would that you would imagine. What one of the things that I think becomes important is just what what you said, but I'm going to make you elaborate on it. Hey, if I could figure yeah. it out and do it, you could do it. But right. there's a lot of learning and experience that goes in before you make the jump. So for guys who are going like, I just don't think I've got it. Talk a little bit about how you get yourself to the point of going. Now I'm ready. <laughs> well, it's funny. I um, for me, I you know I luckily was was put into a sales position, and, and you know when I went to work for Ingram Micro, and um, for anyone that thinks they're not a salesperson, everybody is a salesperson. Every time I talk to somebody, they go, "Oh, I'm not like you. I'm not a sales guy." I'm like, "Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, she's better, <laughs> she's better looking than you. I can tell you that right now." <laughs> that, that, that's that's because you're in sales, right? Or I tell people like, hey, do you have children? And they say, well, yeah. Do you ever tell your kids if you want dessert, you're gonna have to eat your vegetables? That's sales. We're all in sales. We do it every day. Um, you know, so that's the first thing I do is tell people, be an entrepreneur. You're gonna have to be a salesperson. We're all in sales, right? Um, and I think that the, the other biggest thing, and I just I forgot. I wish I could remember who said this, but basically, is ignorance is bliss. 
you don't know what you don't know. And then when you're doing it, you don't think it's that hard. You're just working. It's just work. You're just doing it. It's not that hard. I've always thought better, you know, I'd rather have my, the headaches that I have, I'd rather have for me than somebody else. You know, I went, you know, I didn't start this business. I, I went on my own until six, seven years ago and I got successful pretty quick after that. But before that, I made a lot of other guys very successful. I made a lot of other guys a lot of money. And I was joking around. I, I used to live in Newport Beach, California. And, and these guys that I worked for were buying nice cars, nice houses. And I was making pretty good commission at the time, I mean, for being, you know, college, I mean, high school graduate and, um, you know, I graduated at the 1.3 grade point average. I wasn't <laughs> going to be building jets out there, right? So, you know, uh, I was just, you know, just a good people person, I guess. But, um, you know, I, I got sick of buying other guys' boats for them. I was I was joking around, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write a sales book and it'll be me in a little small boat in Newport Harbor and passing big boats that say, thanks, Lopez. Thanks, Lopez, too. Like, that, that's, that's the name of their boat. Because I was buying other guys' boats for them. And I just well, finally was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do it on my own. Well, one of it is just having the the gumption, if you will, to go do it. And you get there. And I think those are, some of that comes out of your probably your experiences in the Army where you're like, I don't know anything about this tank. And, and X number of months later, you're going like, oh, I'm the expert on this. And this dumb new private's coming on board. He don't know anything about this tank. So you learn a lot of skills that you don't even think about. Uh, in the service, do you still kind of every now and again think, well, that's an approach I learned in the service that sticks with me? Yeah, you learn very quick that, I, I mean, I, I I love that is it Israel or that everyone has to join the military. I think that everybody should do it because you're just literally not afraid of anything. You have to go through, in basic training, you go through the confidence course and the night assault course. And when you get through those two things, and you're you know a little when you're young and you got live rounds going over your head, and you get through stuff like that, you're everything else is pretty pretty stupid, pretty easy. <laughs> you literally are like, mm. and it, it, it's frustrating for people that aren't in the military. Like, you know, you think everything is easy. I'm like, yeah, I really do. I really think everything's easy. You can make it difficult, if, and that's what most people do is make things difficult. But it's all pretty easy, especially nowadays, because. We're all doctors now. We're all astronauts now. We're all lawyers now. We are now everything. We're all everything now. I love, that's my new favorite thing now is, how do you know that? I'm an astronaut now. What? I just Google it. Right. We, yeah, know, we know everything now. So really, it's getting out of your own way, right? Ignorance is bliss. Just go out and do it. And if you screw up, you won't even know you screwed up until you figure it out. It's not a big deal. But go, go start some kind of business, man. Go be a pool cleaner and you'll make more than lawyers, man. Believe it or not, look it up. So let, let's uh, bring, we'll wrap this up. Uh, I think you just gave everybody the advice I was hoping you would. And that is, hey, if you've been in the service, you've been through hard times already, yeah. you've conquered those things, you can make it in business. Uh, we're talking to Scott Lopez, who's the uh, owner and founder of uh, ZPI, Zeppo Productions, Inc. You can find him on the website. Um, and he's a NVBDC certified veteran-owned business. And and your advice is get out there and do it and get yourself certified. Just go do something on your own. Start your own business. It, it's, it's not that hard. I don't care if you're a pool cleaner. One, let me finish with it. I love giving people this example. I love telling people how much do you think a dentist makes in your town, or how much do you think a lawyer? And you can go and Google average income of a lawyer in zip code seven eight six eight one, and that's going to be. And and then you're going to get Glassdoor, Salary.com. You're going to get all these companies, and you say. And I love telling people like, well, I want to make this much money. I'm like, well, Google how much you think a, a lawyer makes. $102,000 a year is the average income for a lawyer. At eight years of college, half a million in debt. And guess how much a pool cleaner makes? 90 grand a year. Pool cleaner. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'd rather be out the pool. You know, so just go start a business. Don't think you have to work for anybody. If I could do it, you could do it. Go start a business, get, you know, whatever, no matter what it is, and get companies like MVBDC organizations like MBBC certified, and they'll get your name out. It'll help you get it'll help you get there, and you can make a decent living working for yourself. That's great advice, Scott. Thanks for spending a little time with Veterans Radio today and giving us some insight into the value of being with NVBDC.org. Yes, sir. Thank you. And I want to thank everybody for listening to Veterans Radio today. I am Jim Fawson. It's been a pleasure to be your host. I'm a veterans disability lawyer at Legal Help for Veterans, and you can reach us at 
693-4800 or LegalHelpForVeterans.com on the web. You can follow Veterans Radio on Facebook and listen to its podcasts and Internet radio shows by visiting us at VeteransRadio.org. That's VeteransRadio.org. And until next time, you are dismissed. If you have a VA claim denied by the Board of Veterans' Appeals, contact Legal Help for Veterans at 1-800-693-4800. They're experts in handling cases before the U.S. Court of Appeals for Veterans' Claims. Their number again, 1-800-693-4800. We again want to thank our national sponsors, the National Veterans Business Development Council, nvbdc.org, VA Ann Arbor Health Care System, the Vietnam Veterans of America, Charles S. Kettles Chapter, Ann Arbor, Michigan. VFW Graf O'Hara Post 423 in Ann Arbor. And the American Legion Press Corn Post 46, also in Ann Arbor. We appreciate all your support. You can go to veteransradio.net, click on the sponsor level, and continue to support keeping Veterans Radio on the air. And until next time... You are dismissed. Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on Chumbacasino.com. I looked over at the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's ChumbaCasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. What's the first thing you do if you'd had more time in the day? Take a nap? Read a book? Talk with a friend? When you know what's important to you, it's easier to fit it into your schedule. Therapy can help you figure that out. BetterHelp offers affordable online therapy that comes to you. Start the process in minutes and switch therapists anytime. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash HappierU today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash HappierU.